How's it going guys? This is Root Junkie here. Today's video we're going to be installing torque recovery on the Motorola Moto G 2nd Gen. We'll also flash root access to the device. So it should be a fun little video. So let's do it. So you want to root and install custom recovery on your Motorola Moto G 2nd Gen. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Now, there is one prerequisite to doing this and that is having an unlocked bootloader. So if you do not have an unlocked bootloader, watch my video on how to unlock the bootloader on the Motorola devices. I will link it in the video description and you'll see it in my playlist and if you go to brewjunkie.com you'll see it listed there as well. So shouldn't be a problem finding that if you don't have that prerequisite met. Once you've done that, basically what you're going to do is you're going to have to turn on developer options on your phone. So to do that, go to About Phone, um, and you can have it plugged into your computer or not. It really doesn't matter right now at this point. And you're going to find your build number, and you're going to tap on it about seven, ten times. It says you are now a developer. You're going to go back, and you're going to see developer options. There we go. And then you're going to make sure it's on, and then you're going to check USB debugging, and hit OK. Very, very, very nice. All right. Now, once it's in, once you plug it into your computer, you're going to get this pop up. Make sure you hit allow and hit um, always allow and hit OK. And that's going to allow you to give this thing ADB commands so that we can do stuff with it from the computer. At this point, you're pretty much um, done on the device. You know what? Actually, we're going we're gonna to push over or download. You can do it either way you want. Um, you're going to need to push one file to it. So I'll, I'll do that from my computer, though, because we're going to need to put the Super Sue file on this device so we can flash it once we get into custom recovery. But let's go over to my computer, and we'll do some commands from over there, and we can watch the device on the side. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what we're working with today. Here we go. So basically you're gonna need, this is just my folder where I keep all of my stuff for my Moto G second gen. And you're gonna need this file right here and you're gonna need this file right here. So two files, one's the Torp recovery image, one is the Super Su update image. Now, if you want either of those, and I'll give you links in the video description, you can come right over here and find the Motorola, uh, Moto G second gen right there and then you can click on torp and you can download that one and then you can just find here here's the update super su zip and download that one download both of those to your computer so you have them and I'll show you what we're going to do with them so the zip for super su you're going to copy and you're going to go put it on your device so my device is right here and just pick a spot I'll pick it downloads that's a nice space for it and paste it into downloads. There we go. And we'll back out of all this stuff. And we're back to our file. So here's our uh, recovery image. We're going to flash the device first. That's the most important part. To do that, you need to have a folder with ADB and Fastboot in it. Here's mine. Um, basically, this is very simple. You just have this file and this file. These are the two files you're basically going to need in here. If you don't have uh, Android SDK or an ADB folder set up already, uh, I'll give you a zip that you can download and extract and you can set up that folder. So what I recommend doing is taking this file right here, copying it, and um, we'll paste it into the folder with your fastboot and your ADB stuff. So we'll just paste it in here. And there we go. So what you're going to do from here is pretty simple. You're in this folder. You're just going to hold shift and you're going to hit right click on your mouse. And you're going to find open command window here and there you get a command window. You can also come down here to right here and I think you can type in CMD which should should find the command window EXE right here but then you have to manually get to the right folder where you have all your stuff and it's kind of annoying. So this puts you in the right place and everything is good. So we're going to test uh, our ADB drivers, fastboot, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that would be the other thing I would tell you. You're going to need to have your Motorola drivers installed um, it's just a file you run and click it and run it when it's done they're installed. If you have any problems with that, I will link the drivers in the video description so you'll have those as well. Not a big deal. Just run those before you do any of these commands. So, just go to ADB Devices and we're going to hit enter. And to make sure your drivers are working correctly, you should come back with this information right here. Some kind of a number and say device. If it doesn't, if it says nothing uh, attached or unauthorized or offline, you may have to come to your device and do that little thing I showed you where you allow ADB. You may have that pop up on your device. You may have to do that. 
So our drivers are working good, so we're going to do ADB reboot boot load loader. There we go. And you're going to see the unlock logo on here right now. Oh, you missed it. It didn't even show up. It just went right into bootloader. But normally you'll see that unlock logo, that kind of stuff. Um, and you'll be in bootloader mode. So from here it's very simple to do this. We're just going to type in a fast boot devices and this is going to prove that our drivers are working correctly for fast boot and it comes back with the number and then says fast boot so we're good there now we're going to type in fast boot flash recovery space and then what I think works the easiest is just to take the recovery image that's in this folder and drag it in and then hit enter and you're going to see there you go it sent everything over and uh, you are good to go. So from here, basically we're done on the computer. We can go ahead and close this out and the computer is done running. We are good. Let's go check out the device. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go into recovery by scrolling down. If you scroll up, it actually um, will enter whatever you're highlighting. So we want to go to recovery and then scroll up and it'll enter recovery. There you go, there is that bootloader warning I was telling you about. You have to have an unlocked bootloader for this to function. So that's why you're going to see that. Here it is, Torp Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. So pretty pumped about this. This is not technically an official build, um, but I'm sure we'll get official support very, very soon. So we want to get root access, right? So we, the first thing you could do if you want is go ahead and make an Android backup at this point just to have a, that official stock, 100% stock, well, besides recovery backup, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to get root right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit install, go to downloads. There is that update super su zip. Select it, swipe across, and it should be done there. We can go ahead and reboot. And you can unplug this from the computer now. So I'll unplug it. And again, there's the bootloader warning. Uh, you're going to have the standard boot animation. And then we're going to check, make sure super su is uh, working correctly once this thing boots up. So there you go guys, that's pretty much how this is going to work. It's very, very simple to do. Um, not a hard process at all. A little Android is upgrading there for one application because it's upgrading that SuperSue zip. And there we are, we booted up. So let's go ahead and check out and see if we have root access. So we'll go right to here. There's SuperSue, just hit no thanks. And if you don't have any errors right there, that means you do have root access. But if we want to check it really quick, let me uh, really quickly go in and download Root Checker. There we go. And go ahead and download this. This will just go ahead and prove that we have uh, proper working root access. All right, we'll go ahead and open it. A little agree to, a little warning information here. Okay, verify root access, grant, and that means you do have it. There you go, congratulations, your device has root access. That is it, guys. That's it, very simple. You have root access on the Moto G 2nd Gen. You have Twerp Custom Recovery. Hopefully we'll get some cool rounds like Sides and Mods, some more fun hacks and mods we can do this thing. So stay tuned if you like videos like this on this device. I will be doing a bunch of them. Hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.